My name's Mark Nixon, I'm an architect and I, I run a design practice in Margate in England called Neon. Uh, Neon is really interested in it. Uh, Neon would describe itself as fantastical architecture, art and design. So we're looking to build projects which will uh, initiate a, an emotional response in the viewer and kind of have a real wow factor to, for people that see them. This design is called the Wind Cathedral that we're building here in the Massive de Sancy. Uh, the idea of it is to, is to challenge people's preconceptions or ideas about what architecture can be and the relationship that architecture has with nature. So normally uh, with a, a building envelope, with a piece of architecture, there's a separation between inside and outside and uh, the forces of nature and the person inside the structure. So this building is, uh, it kind of takes the envelope of, of, of the building uh, and it, it kind of allows wind to pass inside the structure and it kind of inflates the envelope of the structure so that when you're inside you really feel a connection between uh, yourself and the kind of wind and the forces of nature that surround the building. And I think uh, something interesting is that wind is always changing. So some days it's really heavy wind and storms and some days it's really calm. So there's this idea that uh, the building will constantly be changing in its behavior. So sometimes it's really very violent space with lots of movement and sometimes it'll be very calm and relaxing and meditative. So there's that idea that the the kind of behavior of the building is constantly evolving over time. The shape of the structure really evolves from uh, the, the properties of materials that we're using and kind of doing something that is quite simple to construct. So uh, we thought about using this ripstop fabric which is used for parachutes and tents and things like that. So the form has really come as a result of having a one high point and then we anchor it to the ground. So it hasn't, it's not really about a connection to the mountains but it's more uh, the properties of the materials that we use. We thought about having an all white structure but then we thought it's interesting to give uh, different faces of the pyramids different colours to give it some kind of definition and uh, we worked really hard to find a kind of nice mix of colours which somehow linked to uh, again religious typologies so there's these kind of purples and creams which are somehow spiritual colours and we hope that as you're inside uh, the colours will sort of hide and reveal themselves and as you you move around, the different faces will uh, kind of hide and reveal themselves. So there's a kind of dynamic relationship between the site and the, the viewer of the piece.